Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and this video is going to show you how to create a gallery list page that looks a little something like this. It's a great page that allows you to set up visually different links that go to different portfolios or different pages that you've already created. So if you have like different types of photography that you do, like weddings and destination weddings and uh, engagements and so on, you can go ahead and create different links in here that will link to those portfolio pages that you've created. So let's go ahead and go into the back end and let's click on content because we're going to create a new page and we're going to click new at the bottom and we're going to go ahead and give this page a title and I'm just going to title it uh, my work and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, click on gallery list and click create page. So I have the my work page right here and we're going to start adding those entries, those links to this page. So under this entries tab, I'm going to click new and I'm going to add my first tab which will be weddings and I'm going to upload new. I'm going to go ahead and click on an image here, click open, and I'm going to link to a page that I've created. So I'm going to click the link to the page I've created button, and I'm going to go ahead and click portfolio, and that's the album that I've already created. I'm going to click open in the same window, and I'm going to click save. And so when I click create entry, the entry will now be here. Let's go ahead and create a couple more entries to kind of give you an idea of how this works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and title this um, we'll go ahead and title this Hawaii. And let's say that we have an album that we've created that we want it to represent Hawaii. We put the image in there and we're going to link over to our Hawaii album. And I'm just going to go ahead and link to this portfolio page. Open in the same window, click save and create entry. And I'm going to create one more entry in here and we'll just go ahead and title it. Um, add an image by clicking open new click open. I'm going to link it to a page I've created. Click about me. I'll click save and click create entry. So I have three to work with in here and if I go ahead and I preview this you're going to see that this page has my three entries and if I click on this weddings link it's going to go ahead and take me over to that wedding album that I've that I linked it to. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here and now I'm going to show you a few of the options you have as far as the settings go. So I'm going to come back to the admin. I'm going to click on this settings tab and you'll see that I have three columns. And so those three columns are one, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead and change those columns. I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, two columns. I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And you'll see that it changes the configuration of the page. So if I want to make it four columns, you're going to see that when we refresh we have three entries with four columns so we're going to be missing missing one in a space so I have my three entries that load and my fourth my fourth column has nothing in it because we only have three entries so when you build this out it'll go ahead and just if, if you add a fourth one here or a fifth or a sixth it'll just start adding them underneath each other similar to how this one looks so now let's go ahead and go back and look at um, this area here which allows you to add uh, a title and description so I'm going to go ahead and put a title in here and I'm going to add some text here and this is a great way to get some SEO um, text in there which really helps out and I'm going to click save at the bottom. I, I changed my grid columns to three. I'm going to click save at the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. So you're going to see my three columns with my three entries. They're all linkable. Um, my text and my title and that essentially should get you started on making a grid page. You can you can use it for a lot of different reasons. Again you can use it uh, to add all your portfolios. If you wanted this to be a somewhat of a home page you can do that and you can have it be uh, an about me link. You can have it be a portfolio link, a contact link, a client's link and so on. So a lot of different ways you can use it. Play around with it. Um, see how it works best for you. You can find more more information on our support page or if you have any more questions go ahead and go to intothedarkroom.com. Click on the support link and go ahead and let us know what we can do for you. We'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching.